Welcome back, everyone. Joining us now on the phone is Chuck Hoven, the managing editor for The Plain Press. He received a news article written by Ariel Castro's son about the missing women back in 2004. The letter was part of a college writing assignment. Good morning to you, Chuck. Good morning. Do you remember getting this article? Uh, yes, and I, I remember he did a, a very nice job. I was just looking it over now from our archives, and um, he he did a nice job on the article. He uh, interviewed pe the mother of uh, Gina De Jesus, and he interviewed wow. uh, some people in the neighborhood, including the safety coordinator. Uh, and it was a big story in the time at the time because this was just a few months after uh, sure. Gina De Jesus had disappeared. Right, and all. he was he was writing about the anxiety Talks in his own mother. neighborhood that he grew up. He wrote yeah. in your paper. He wrote for seven weeks. Gina's family, Gina De Jesus's family, has been organizing searches despite the many tips and rumors that have been circulating in the neighborhood. There has been no sign of her. One thing is for certain, however, almost everybody feels a connection with the family, and Gina's disappearance has the whole area talking. And Chuck, the amazing thing is that was written by the son of the man who is alleged to have kept those people in his house for 10 years. Yeah, that seems to be the case now. Uh, I, I, One of the local reporters contacted me. I guess she had talked to um, the younger Ariel Castro, and he confirmed that it, that it was his father that was arrested. Well, the amazing thing is, and Chuck, I don't know if you have any insight in this, but doesn't a son sometimes visit his father at the home? I mean, especially you know, when he's I in college? I don't know what their relationship was, whether they were estranged or not. I don't have any uh, any background in terms right. of what his relationship is. But you do remember the story going in. It was well written, and that's why you published it. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Okay, you're welcome. What a story. Mm. That's right.